Yo what's going on guys welcome back to another video and as you can see I've got a red Pereira and I just got him from the red picks and I decided let's just do a player review on him because his card looks amazing so he's 5 foot 9 high high work rates 4 star weak foot which is very good for a right back and 3 star skills so so far it looks like he's an amazing card so looking, looking at his in game stats wow what a card isn't it um, I haven't played no games with him yet because I just got him and I put anchor on him because I thought that's probably the best chem style but we will go on footbin to see what other chem style will, will be good for him. So looking at his pace. Oh, one second. Fabianski in net. But looking at his uh, stats then. Uh, 88 acceleration, 90 sprint speed. But with the anchor, it gets him um, to 93 acceleration, 95 sprint speed. Which is very good. His passing stats are very good for right back. His dribbling is also very good for right back. And then his defensive stats with our anchor is very good as well. But with the anchor, it's top tier defending. And his physicals are very nice as well. Like um, if you look at Semedo, Semedo only has like 65 physical, uh, 65 strength. So uh, if and Semedo is overpowered, so the Pereira card can be overpowered as well with only 70 strength. But he does have 90 aggression with the anchor. So what a card this looks like. So let's compare him to Walker because he was my right back for all like for how many games? Let me check. Walker's played uh, over 500 games for me. But uh, Walker is uh, six foot high high as well but only have two star weak foot two star skills so that's a big a little bit of a problem because when uh, you're trying to defend and uh, you need to get the ball out quickly you can't pass it with his left foot which is the problem because he'll uh, probably fail the pass but looking at uh, the stats difference so Pereira has two more pace I mean uh, two less pace he has six more dribbling one more shot four more passing one more defending and uh, five less physical so looking at it Pereira looks better on the uh, stats wise so let's go on footbin just to see what chem style you could put on him I'll put anchor on him of course because that's what I thought would be the best but I just want to see what other chem style you could put on him so guys this is his card and it's coming around at 140k which isn't bad at all um let me see comparing to Walker's price because Walker um, that's the guy you want to like compare him to Walker's how much is he he's 220k so I'm very surprised there that he's way less than him because looking at the stats, Pereira does look better than him. So let's see the difference between his 84 and 86. So he's got two, two more pace, two more dribbling, two more shot, three more passing, three more physical, two more defending. So it's a good boost. And the 84s were 65k. Uh, so let's see what chem style you. I'm thinking because I was uh, when I was thinking about what chem style when I was thinking it, I was thinking of a shadow. A shadow. Yeah, look at that with the shadow. Guess his pace to 99. And his stats, defending stats all over 90 except his headering. But then look his physical, right? That's not good enough. Maybe a Sentinel could be a good good on him. You know, Sentinel is very good on him as well. Look at that. That's defending stats. It makes him a 90 right back. What does the anchor game to? An anchor gets him to a 90 right back as well. A shadow game's a 91 right back. Uh, let's see what else. Gets him to a backbone also as well. A backbone is very good. Look at that. Look his passing with the backbone and his defending stats. Wow. What about Guardian? A Guardian makes his dribbling up that even that makes him a 91 right back though. An engine? Nope. That doesn't really get him anything good. So yeah, it looks like you got a couple of options. So Shadow, an anchor, Sentinel, Backbone. A backbone does look very good for him. Like cause his dribbling's already uh, already very good and his pace is like good as well. But you do want to get the extra pace, don't you? Because you're gonna be coming against like Neymar so you need the pace so yeah i think anchor was the right decision but let's get into a game uh and see i am going to be playing him in a 4-1-2-1-2 and two, one, two, uh, narrow and uh, right back and i'm gonna leave him as balanced so i, I want to see what he can do when he's going forward as well especially because he has four star weak foot so yeah let's get into a game so this is the first team we're coming up against i'm in division one by the way so it's gonna even though the guy's trying to do the challenge he's still gonna be in a hard opponent he's trying to do the Syria a uh, icon swaps Silver, Pereira. Okay, this looks he's got a good pace. Should be able to outpace the loose Alberto. Yeah, that's very good from him. Big shot. Oh, I made a mistake. Oh my fault that was. I meant to do a drag back. Silver. Ferdinand. Pereira. Kante. Back to Pereira. Neymar to Pereira. Great play here so far. If you can uh, find a pass, there's Kak in the middle and he scores. Great cross save by Pereira and great play before that as well. That's what I want to see from my right back. 
Neymar, Jovic. Good covering by Ricardo Pereira there. Kante. Pereira. Gets it to Kaka. Get tackled and then accidentally he's tipped the shot. With a good pass from uh, Pereira there. Top. Yeah. Brilliant from Pereira. Good strength as well. Pereira. Kaka. To Guardiola. Pereira. Great run there from Pereira. Oh, can we get past the defender though? Oh, it's good. Still has the ball somehow. Gets it to Guardiola. Kante. Silva. To Kaka. And Kaka should have scored there. What a miss. But it was good from Pereira to keep the ball, to keep the attack alive. Jovic. Pereira. Wins it back. To Neymar. Pereira. Good dribbling. To Neymar, Guardiola, Silva's in the box, shoots, and he misses, just misses. So it's half time, guys, and Pereira so far has a 9.2 rating. Very surprised, but he has been very good. So he's got one assist, had zero shots, 19 out of 20 passes completed, 10 out of 16 dribbles, and made two, made two crosses, and uh, both two crosses worked and uh, also made two tackles so it's been a great half from him but yeah i'm gonna make him stay back while attacking now to see how good he is defensively because attacking wise he's very good Pereira Kante Pereira in great space here Kaka to Neymar Neymar shoots the player just handballed it there that's some bullshit there you see that handball Neymar Jovic Neymar, great pass from Jovic that was, and should score here, we won. Kante, Pereira, Ferdinand, Kante, Pereira, to Neymar, to Pereira, great play this is so far. Gets it to Neymar, back to, and can Neymar score? Wow, that was a very good goal that was. The link up on the right hand side again, Pereira is very good at, with the attacking play. Okay. Guardiola to Jovic to Kaka Pereira See what you can do here Good dribbling Guardiola Silva and we get tackled Pereira You can see that his positioning he positions himself very well which I like a lot Good tackle for Pereira there Good tackle from Pereira in the last minute of the match as well. We do win the match 3-1. <laughs> Let's see what Pereira did in this match then. So you got man of the match 9.4 rating with Neymar. No one else really got close to them two. He um, assisted two goals for a right back which is really good then. Uh, complete 33 out of 36 passes which is really good for a right back. 19 out of 27 dribbles okay. And uh, complete two, two out of two crosses from the first half. And uh, he made 4 out of 5 tackles, so a very good game from him and he was a very good card. So I'll give him a final review on him now. So guys, this Pereira card is a very good card and I think I'm going to use him over Walker. He's just, his overall play is much better than Walker, his positioning. And uh, he helps out with attack uh, with attacks a lot. Especially if you like leaving, on, leaving your forward backs unbalanced. He does help a lot with the attacks and he's just much better overall. Because uh, of his agility and balance, it just makes him a better player. His passing is better. Even his defending is better and uh, he just feels more um, better to use and his positioning and defense is very nice. Uh, the only thing I like about Walker over Pereira is the strength of course. That's the only thing that's Walker better than, better than him at. But other than everything else, Pereira is better so I'm very happy that I got him as my red picks. And for, uh, for the price range of 140k, I say you do go for him over Walker definitely and because he will be a better card for you. And he fits the meta of the game better, like because he has he's five foot nine, whereas Walker's six six foot, so it's a bit of a bit of a problem that is. So um, yeah, uh, do uh, again. I'm gonna I'm gonna give uh, Pereira a nine out of ten. The only reason I'm not giving him a ten out of ten because of his uh, fit, of his uh, strength. But other than that, yeah. So it's a very good card. Make sure you like and subscribe. And uh, this is the end of the video. So yeah, bye.